hello welcome back to my channel today's video is all about positivity if you watched my video what did i call it goodbye 2016 you will know that 2016 was a pretty tough year for me. I suffered quite badly with depression and anxiety throughout 2016 and having a positive mind and a positive outlook, to be honest, was non-existent. I would wake up feeling negative, not looking forward to the day. I wouldn't really want to talk to anyone, to be completely honest with you. I would much rather have just shut myself away in my room and lived alone and just been a bit of a loner. Bit of a mole, to be honest, just live underground so no one can see me. And yeah, I was a very negative person. I would see the negative in absolutely anything. And if someone told me that there was a positive in it, I just couldn't see it. It sounds very cheesy and I know a lot of people say it, but it was literally one day I just decided no, that's it, I've had enough. I hate being that negative person. I hate being that false positive where you put on an act and pretend you're really happy and pretend that everything is hunky-dory and everything's really good and that you're really happy with your life. I need to make that a reality. I need to make that true. It needs to not be a lie anymore. It wasn't an easy transition, I'm not gonna lie. It took me a long time to almost train my brain to think about a positive rather than a negative. But I feel like I am not 100% there, but I'm definitely about 80% happy with my outlook on life. And there's five things that I found that I can pinpoint that have really helped me to do this. And I really wanted to share them with you. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I really hope that these help you even a little bit, even just for you to realise, okay, well, I can be a happy, positive person. It's just a case of training myself. That sounds so wrong, but... It is. I've, I've found it is. A, you have to train yourself to think that. You have to force yourself to be like, if, if you get a negative thought, you have to force yourself to be like, no, take a step back. What's going on around me? What can I bring positive out of this? So I want to share with you the five things that I have found that have really helped me. The first thing is something that I kind of basically just touched on, but it is find the positive in a situation. In any negative situation, the really bad thing is probably what really stands out for you. But there has to have been a positive thing that happened in that day and you just have to find it. You have to look for it. So if you have a really bad day at work, for example, but when you went out on your lunch, you someone smiled at you. Like just that little smile can make you feel happy. Like someone acknowledged you or even someone that just said thank you. They were happy that you were there in that situation. I found one thing that helped me to find the positive in each day was at the end of each day, I would write down something good that happened because then you have to think about it. You have to find the good thing that happened and you write it down and you think about it and you go to sleep happy it, this is what happened to me anyway I went to sleep happy thinking about that good thing that happened in the day and I would wake up feeling much more positive because I'd fallen asleep in a positive mindset so that's something that really helped me and something that I would recommend to you like write it down so that you can remember and also then on your bad days you can look back and look at the good things that happened and just if you're having those days where you're like everything's crap and everything's so bad you can look back and think oh wait that that happened that was really good that made me happy that made me feel warm and and needed and wanted number two do something that scares you or that you wouldn't normally do so this is obviously isn't something that you can do every day but if an opportunity arises say yes to it do it. I mentioned this in my Goodbye 2016 video as well, but going, saying yes to going to a bloggers event or going out for dinner with someone that you don't really know or just doing something that you would normally be terrified to do or you'd automatically just go, no, I'm, I'm not doing that, I probably won't like that. Just do it because the feeling you get when you've done it is amazing and it just makes you feel so good about yourself and you're so proud about proud of yourself and you should be proud of yourself it's so important to be proud of who you are and what you've done number three time to reflect have you time it's okay to be on your own and have you time i found sometimes if i was having those down days it was good for me to take a step back and just have some me time have a bit of pamper time i'd usually have a bath and i'd read a book and i'd do like a face mask i just kind of pamper myself a bit do my nails make myself feel like good if that makes sense so if you are having one of those days where you just don't want to 
talk to anyone, focus on yourself and make yourself feel happy and good about yourself and just wash your hair, do something that makes you feel good. Also that's a good time to look back on your little notes that you've written down about the good things that have happened, to remind yourself that that not everything is bad and there are good things and those are the things that should stand out. Number four, um, be conscious of who you surround yourself with. I'm very much someone who is like an emotion sponge, that's what I call it anyway. Whoever I'm around, whatever they are feeling, I will feel. So if I, if the first person I meet in the day is being quite negative, I will automatically absorb that and be quite negative. My mood can be changed quite easily as well, so if I'm if I am feeling really negative and then someone comes in and they're like, hi, good morning, or whatever, I will then absorb that and be really positive and I will go along with that. So I am very conscious as to who I surround myself with and yes, I've lost friends from being like that, but I feel like that's been a good thing for me because everyone I have in my life now are happy, positive people and have a good outlook on life. Obviously everyone has their bad days, everyone has their negative days, but the people that surround me are driven people who have goals that they want to reach and are so supportive of me and what I want to do and they push me to be the best that I can be and that's what I needed, that's what I needed. In my little world, my little bubble world, I needed people that were encouraging and supportive and happy and positive and that's what I have now. I feel like that's one of the biggest differences. Having someone around you and people around you that even if they don't understand what you're doing will support what you're doing is incredibly important. And number five is probably for me quite an important one but I've just written cry as my note but basically I what I mean is if you want to cry, cry. If you want to scream, scream. If if you let your emotions out, don't hold them in. When I first started to go on my downward spiral, as I call it, it was when I held everything in. I didn't talk to anyone about anything. I didn't let anything out. I wouldn't let myself cry. I would literally, I can't even explain it. I would just, I was numb. As like I had no emotion. I wouldn't let anything show. Um, everything that people saw was false. I found that to be the worst thing I could possibly do. I should have let it out. I should have cried when I wanted to cry. I should have told people that I was upset. I should have spoken to people and I just didn't. That's such an important thing is to let it out. Don't hold it in. You can make yourself so ill by not talking about things. And I just wanted to say if any of you feel like you need someone to talk to, because I found it so much easier to talk to someone that wasn't personally involved in my like situation in my life it was much easier to talk openly with that person or those people because they weren't involved in it and they didn't have a biased opinion upon it they were literally just there to listen to you and to give you some advice not to be opinionated about it please do send me messages if you want to if you need to talk about anything tweet me all my links are down below um email me anything i really want to be there to help people because I know that it really helped me to talk to people. Even just like the smallest bit of acknowledgement helped me out so even if I'd like the smallest thing so I would tweet something for example that was quite negative and someone just responded and said I'm here it made such a difference because I knew I could talk to that person and I want to be that person so if you do want to talk I'm here. Okay, I just want to summarise as well so we all remember what the, the pointers are. So, number one was find the positive in the situation. Wake up in a positive mind. Wake up and think, I am going to be a positive, happy person today and I am not going to let anything negative affect me. I try and do this most mornings and most of the time now it works and I'm quite a positive person, but it was hard to keep myself in that frame of mind. Two, do something that scares you or that you wouldn't normally do because the buzz feeling you get afterwards is amazing and is so worth the fear before. Three, have me time. Reflect on your day and make yourself feel good. Do something that makes you feel good. Paint your nails, wash your hair, have a bath, go for a run, anything. Number four, 
be conscious of who you surround yourself with. Give yourself a positive bubble and positive people and friendship. It makes such a difference to how you feel yourself. If you have someone around you that is always negative and always moaning about their lives and not doing anything about it, you're gonna absorb that and you're gonna be the same. Surround yourself with people that push you to be the best you are. Best you are? Push you to be the best you can be. That's what I was trying to say. And number five was cry. Be emotional. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to shout, shout. But talk about, talk about how you're feeling with someone else. Let it out, don't hold it in. One other thing I just wanna mention is I'm a massive fan of a quote and I find reading a quote or anything like that can really make me think. So I surround myself with quotes. I've got quotes all around my room. I've got quotes on my phone, everything. And if I'm just feeling down or anything like that, I'll read a quote and it will change how I'm thinking at that point. So surround yourself with happy thoughts. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna leave the video. I really hope it has helped some of you. Those five things have really turned my life around, really, and that's why I wanted to share them with you because they've worked so well for me. Like I said, if you do need to message me or anything like that, please do it. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, leave comments down below as well. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please do ask them, and yeah. I'll see you next week. Bye.